And this event is about supporting Dr. Manny Sethi, both with your vote, with your influence, and if you're able, with your pocketbook and with your money. He really needs that. That's how campaigns are won. So please support him in every possible way. America is the greatest country on this planet. And the reason is, is because we're more than a place on a map. We're more than a place that has great natural resources. We're more than a place that has great people. We're bound together by an idea which is enshrined in the documents which founded this country that says that all men are created equal and endowed by their creator with certain inalienable rights, among these, life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. And I believe that with every fiber of my being. Because I've lived it. I'd have never been able to live the life that I've lived if it hadn't been for the fact that I'm an American. You see, Dr. Manny, Sethi, and I, we're a lot alike, actually. We both grew up in rural parts of the country. We both took the talents and skills that God gave us and the opportunities that this country affords us to do really cool things in our lives. Now, as a professional wrestler, I broke people's bodies as a drama surgeon who fixes people's bodies, it's a lot the same. But what's stunning to me is there are people in America, Americans who hate that idea. And they are on the march. And look at what's happening with this pandemic and that's unfortunately in our country and hit our country hard. While people like me and mayors and governors like me across the country are doing everything that we can to defend the Constitution, to defend liberty, to defend freedom, to keep our economies open so that people can work and people can live, we have elected officials that either don't understand that folks have to earn a living, that our liberties are important because people died for those so that we could have them. And they're not something to just give away because they're scared. They, don't understand, they don't understand that. Or they are using this pandemic as a pretext to destroy their economies. So that they can, they can bring this country down. And they're acting like petty tyrants who rule, not govern, but rule in a capricious and arbitrary manner. And that is the definition of tyranny. Yeah. You now look at what's happening in, in a place like Portland, Oregon. You know, you got you got you, you have these government leaders who are kind of figuratively tearing the country down and burning it down, and then you have people that are actually burning their city down. And meanwhile, their their mayor and their governor not only stand aside in indifference, they actually encourage it. In fact, the mayor of Portland, Oregon, was on the front line with the rioters who were setting a federal building on fire. And of course, he had a security detail with him. My chief of staff, Brian Harris, here, Brian, we've been working on security detail. Where's, where's mine? I generally keep it in a holster in my hip. The Democratic Party on the left is not the same Democratic Party and the same left that they were a generation ago. They are people that want to destroy this country. They are people who want to burn this country down. They are people that hate folks like me and they hate folks like you. But I'm actually okay with that because I don't feel very warm and fuzzy about them either. <laughs> And just like all of you, I will fight. I will not falter, I will not waver, and I will hold the line in Knox County. But all of us 
need folks who will fight for us in Washington, D.C. Folks like Rand Paul. And we need someone who will fight for us in the U.S. Senate alongside Rand Paul, and that's Manny Sethi. Now it is my honor to interview someone who fought for us for many years in the United States Congress, former Congressman Jimmy Duncan.